Hello, this is Craig from Bitbox.co.uk. We are back again with another Blind Jitsu painting tutorial, and as promised, in this video we are painting the um, brass slash goldy areas. Now I'm going to say brass or gold because it's sort of um, going to be sort of probably more brass and gold, but I'm going to paint all sort of gold in this sort of way as well. So um, anyway, let's just crack on, shall we? Um, we're going to take some Balthazar gold. So there's a couple of areas on this miniature that I'm going to be painting in this way. Um, just this bit around his hood. And that doesn't show up fantastically against the um, dark brown that's already there because it's a very sort of similar colour. I'll place a bit more on there. Now I'll just put on quite a thick coat there, um, I do recommend two thin coats normally, as I'm sure most of you know, but um just trying to get it to show up for the camera just there, but um, I will continue doing a couple of thin coats with the rest of it. Oh my god, I'm going to wipe off. Now I'm just going to do a little bit around here too. So now these gold areas are dry, we're going to shade them. Starting with um, some Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to mix it in with Karabag Crimson. So it's roughly a two to one mix, two parts Agrax to one part Karabag Crimson. I'm starting around here. I'm applying it quite heavily. I will mop up some of the excess. We want it to. Um, Sell in all the recesses as well as tint the surface to make it darker. Also, do this bit around here. The reason I've added the Caraboca Crimson is just to give it a sort of little reddish tint, which I think will work quite well with this sort of, sort of um, reddy sort of brown colour we have. So once that's dry, we'll come back and do some highlights and some weathering. So now we can highlight these areas. And I'm going to take some Rune Lord Brass. So I'm not a massive fan of most of the GW Metallics. And Rune Lord Brass, certainly not one I'm particularly fond of. But it does work as a good highlight colour for this. And essentially, Certainly going to pick out all the little rivets, and if I can get this to flow alright, I will do some edge highlights as well. And the paint has just gone all funny on me, as in most of the um, GW metallics just like to separate or dry up. Whereas this one seems to have done a mixture of both, but I shall persevere and try my best. See, that wasn't very neat at all, um, it's very difficult on camera sometimes. But of course, um, Blanditsu is very forgiven. So, I'll just hit some of these rivets and then we'll highlight this area. I may have to do just a couple of bits off the camera. But you can see the general um, gist of what I'm doing. So, just normal edge highlighting and picking out raised areas. Just as you would with any other car. So here we can see the highlights from this side. Um, I did go a little bit too heavy at the top, but that's fine. Um, we are going to cover up a lot of this with the weathering. But that's essentially what we're going for. Um, it's just very hard to work with uh, paint like that, and my detail brushing to be on its way as well. Um, next up, though, we are going to take some typhus corrosion. So similar weathering to what we did in the last video. So, um, starting with the typhus corrosion. I'm not going to use a great deal of this. And we can actually use it to neaten up some of these areas just by sort of just dabbing bits on top. And I'll just bring down these highlights. And on the other side as well. It's a bit of a mess on the other side, but we can fix all that right now. I just dab in little random areas of this.
like so. So next, I'm just going to go straight into it. We are going to take some nylac oxide. Now I'm going to use this. So I'm slightly different to how I used it in the last video. In the last video, we were very um, use very very small amounts. And this time, I'm going to use again. Still going to use small amounts, but um, just a little bit more than before. And I am actually going to go around all of these rivets. And that is just a bit too much. Um, so you can just remove excess away with your brush. I think I'll switch to the smaller brush just for this. Of course it it will dry duller than this. I may actually just add a little bit of water as well, just so it's even duller. That's better. So now we can just be a bit more heavier with it. Where we want it. And then just down here, we'll just get the bottom of that lip there. So, because I've gone too heavy on the side, I'm just going to get a bit of water on my brush. Just mix that in on the min miniature. And that'll help. That'll just help dull it down. So once that dries, that'll be quite dull, but that'll just give us this little weathered effect. And um, I'm just going to take some water down stuff and just sort of go around. So this is quite watered down nylac oxide, and we're just sort of going to brush it just around the edges. And this will give us a lot of extra weathering on it. But once it dries, it'll still be fairly subtle. With that now dry, you can see we've got this very dark and worn sort of brass effect going on. And I like the nylac oxide, just gives it a little bit of colour because there's obviously not a great deal of colour on this miniature. And lastly, and similar to in the last video, we're going to finish off with some Stormhost Silver. Now I'm only really just going to try and hit these rivets with it, if I if I can on camera, but um, I'll do my best. Again, this brush is really struggling to hold a point at the moment, but just a tiny little dot, like so, on each rivet. And then once I've done that, the brass slash gold area will be complete. And with that, the brass um, areas are now complete. So. And the model itself is also very near completion, I just need to do some of these wires. I may actually paint them in red rather than purple, but we shall see. Now I will post a finished picture of this miniature on our Instagram page and also on our blog. And by the time this video is out, um, that may already be up there. So um, all that's left to say as always is thank you so much for watching, you can of course like and subscribe and if you really wish you can check out our patreon page um, we do have a video of where I painted the bone on this miniature um, exclusively for our patrons and we put a lot of our videos out a few days or even a week early um, for people who subscribe to our patreon so um, thanks again for watching I'll see you all again in the next video